in the vast expanse of the skies, where dreams of flight have always pushed humanity to innovate, a new chapter is being written. China's C-929, a wide-body jet crafted by Comermac, has sparked whispers of a seismic shift in aviation. While the world's gaze has long been fixed on the Titans Boeing and Airbus, a bold new player is stepping into the arena. This isn't just about a single aircraft. It's about a nation's ambition to rewrite the rules of a game that's been dominated for decades. The C-929 isn't merely a machine of metal and composites. It's a symbol of a rising force in global aerospace, one that's daring to challenge the status quo. So, what does this mean for the future of flight? Can a jet from China truly stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the giants? Let's dive into the story of the C-929. Explore its potential and uncover why it's got the aviation world buzzing. Picture this, a sleek, modern jet slicing through the clouds, its wings crafted from cutting-edge materials, its engines humming with precision. The C-929 is designed to carry up to 280 passengers across 12,000 kilometers, think New York to Beijing or London to Sydney without breaking a sweat. That's the kind of range that puts it in direct competition with heavy weights like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the Airbus A350. But this isn't just about matching specs. It's about offering something different. The C929 promises fuel efficiency, reduced noise, and a design that leans heavily on advanced composites. Over 50% of its fuselage is made from lightweight carbon fiber, cutting weight and boosting performance. This isn't a copycat. It's a calculated move to carve out a slice of the long-haul market. The story of the C929 begins with Carmack, China's state-backed aerospace giant born from a vision to make China a leader in aviation. Comermac isn't new to the game. Its earlier project, the C919, a narrow-body jet, was a stepping stone, proving China could build a commercial aircraft to rival the Boeing 737 or Airbus A320. But the C929 is a leap forward, launched in 2017 as a joint venture with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. The project originally called the CR929 named to blend Chinese innovation with Russian engineering. Geopolitical shifts changed that plan with tensions rising after the Ukraine conflict. Russia's role shrank and Komarmak took the reins, steering the project towards self-reliance. This pivot wasn't just logistical. It was a statement. China wants to build its own future in the skies free from dependence on foreign tech. Dot. What sets the C-929 apart? Let's start with the tech. The jet's fuselage with its high composite content isn't just lighter rits built to withstand the stresses of long-haul flights while sipping fuel. Its wings designed with advanced aerodynamics promise smoother rides through turbulent skies. Inside the cockpit is a pilot stream, a fully digital glass setup with large multifunctional displays and fly-by-wire controls that make flying feel almost intuitive. These aren't just bells and whistles. They're designed to reduce pilot workload and boost safety. And then there's the engine question. Early prototypes may lean on proven options like the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000, but Coma sees working on its own turbofan, the CJ2. If it succeeds, it'll be a game share. Giving China an edge in a field where engines are often the toughest nut to crack. But building a jet is only half the battle. The real challenge is trust. Airlines don't just buy planes. They buy reliability, safety, and a global support network. Boeing and Airbus have spent decades building that trust. With thousands of planes in the air and maintenance hubs worldwide, Coma Comac C919, despite flying commercially in China, hasn't cracked Western markets largely because it lacks FAA and EASA certifications, the gold standards for global aviation. The C929 faces the same hurdle. To compete, it needs to pass rigorous tests, not just in China, but in the eyes of international regulators. That's no small feat every bolt every system, every flight hour will be scrutinized. And yet come betting big. 
With China's domestic market projected to need thousands of new jets by 2040, the C-929 could thrive at home even if the West hesitates. Timing plays a huge role in this story. The aviation world isn't what it was a decade ago. Boeing's been grappling with quality control issues. From the 737 MAX setbacks to production delays, Airbus, while steady, is stretched thin with backlogs that keep airlines waiting years for new planes. Into this gap steps Comac offering a jet that could be priced lower than its rivals. For airlines in Asia, Africa, or the Middle East regions hungry for growth but sensitive to cost, the C-929 could be a tempting choice. Imagine a carrier in, say, Indonesia or Nigeria looking to expand long-haul routes. A cheaper, reliable jet could be a lifeline, especially if it comes with financing from China's deep-pocketed government. The C-929's ambitions aren't just about hardware. They're geopolitical. China's Belt and Road Initiative has already built BR and figurative across Asia, Africa, and beyond. The C-929 could be an extension of that, a way to deepen ties with emerging markets. Countries that buy Chinese jets might also get favorable trade deals or infrastructure investments. It's a long game, one where Comac doesn't need to topple, Boeing, or Airbus overnight. A 5% slice of the global market could mean billions in revenue and a foothold for future growth. And with China's domestic airlines like Air China already named the C929's launch customer ready to buy, Comermac has a built-in market to kick things off. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. The C929 is still in the design phase with prototypes years away from full testing. Claims of a 12,000 km test flight. While exciting and don't hold up under scrutiny, no credible source confirms it. The reality is more grounded. Commerce sees working toward a first flight by 2027 with commercial service in the early 2030s. Boeing and Airbus are doubling down on their strengths, proven reliability, global service networks, and brand loyalty. They know that airlines, especially in premium markets like North America or Europe, won't switch to an untested jet overnight. But in price-sensitive regions, the C-929 could chip away at their dominance. The human element matters, too. Commas, training thousands of engineers, pilots, and technicians to support the C-929. This isn't just about building planes. It's about building an ecosystem. China's universities are churning out aerospace talent, and its factories are scaling up to produce everything from rivets to radar systems. This is a nation betting on itself. Investing in a future where it doesn't just buy jets, it sells them. For passengers, the C-929 promises modern cabins, quieter flights, and potentially cheaper tickets if airlines pass on the savings. But it also raises questions. Would you board a jet from a company with no global track record? Would you trust a plane that hasn't been battle-tested by decades of service? The C-929's journey is just beginning, and the road ahead is long. Certification alone could take years and building a global maintenance network is no small task. Yet, China's playing a patient game. With its massive domestic market as a foundation, Comac can afford to start small. Selling to friendly nations and state-owned carriers. Success in Asia and Africa could pave the way for broader acceptance. And if the C-929 delivers on its promises lower costs, solid performance, and reliable service, it could force Boeing and Airbus to rethink their pricing and innovation strategies. The aviation world thrives on competition, and a third player could spark a new era of progress. From greener engines to smarter cockpits. So, where does this leave us? The C-929 isn't in the skies yet, but its shadow looms large. It's a reminder that aviation, like any industry, isn't static. New players can rise and old giants can stumble. For travelers,